everybody, it's Julie from Bowaz Dog Services, your royalty pet products representative. I have Bailey today, and Bailey is a uh, Pouchon, and he is matted, so I figured, um, unfortunately, I have to, I have to shave him down. Um, it is, I can't, I, I, there, I can't even see his skin. He missed one appointment, one appointment, and eight weeks later, no brushing, and he is matted, so I have absolutely no choice. And he's a good little boy, and so I am going to shave him down, and I figured I would just show you how I do that. And I always um, try and save as much as I can, but it's, when I first saw him, um, there was room for me to take him short, but um, save some of it, and there's not this time. So he's got to go all the way down to a nice summer cut. And so I'm using, I'm going to start with a 7FC um, and see how things go. All right, so here we go. Shaving the dog. I'm right, first trying to find a spot I can get in. I might even have to go to a 10 blade. But I try and leave something if I can. But you gotta be very careful that you are not pulling up the skin because all right, here's the deal with a seven blade, all right? See, it's wider here. A 10 blade. See the difference here? It's thinner. All right, less chance for a dog to get um, any skin cut in there. But I do prefer the finished look of a 7FC. So that's what I'm trying first, and it's a little bit longer. Um, a 10 is one and a half millimeters versus a seven is 3.2. It's just a little bit more. Um, and so that's why I'm starting with that. But you have to be very careful because um, some people say the 7FC is a dangerous blade. Um, let's see. So I'm being very careful, taking it very slow. Try and get in. All right. I can't even get this blade under the mat, so I gotta go to a 10. I can't believe it. It's really bad. So here we go. Oops. Let's get that on there, right? He's going anywhere, so I'm just gonna try this here. I'll put my hands on him to keep him safe, but I need to get in. I need to get in here, and he's pelt matted. Just a minute, bud. I got you. 
Remember to always check your blade. If your blade is too hot for your arm, it's too hot for his skin, so you do not want to uh, blade burn them. And it will burn them. Too warm for me. New 10 blade while that one cools down. I have a lot of 10 blades. Wow. You gotta be really careful. Cannot let that. I'm glad I switched to the 10 because this spot here, and I think on the top of his head, I could barely get under. And I gotta make sure that I don't grab skin, I cannot hurt this dog. Additionally, all right, part of being a safe groomer, I should be wearing a mask, but I'm not because I'm talking. So for, for you new groomers out there, part of being a safe groomer is making sure that you are um, being safe and protecting yourself. I have a security camera in the corner, you can see it up there, right there, and it records every groom because um, if something were to happen, then I need to make sure that, um, you know, I have proof of what actually happened. Hold, please. The phone is ringing. I don't know why iMovie doesn't let you pause, but that's stupid. So, um, that was a telemarketing call. So, I'm going back into the to shape. It's bad. Just a minute. So sorry. All right, I gotta show you guys something. So this is gonna be weird because I'm using my laptop to record, but I have to show you this. All right, so I need you to be able to see how badly it's matted because you have to be so careful here. There could be sores or wounds hiding underneath this, okay? And it's our job to make sure we don't cause any wounds and that we're paying attention to the dog's reaction as we shave them. 
it is really important that their health comes first and we have to take care of and respect their vulnerability right now. These mats are painful. He hasn't been able to, his right here, his, his ear is fused to his shoulder. So, if I find a wound under any mat, my Joshua Morales uh, shear set from Loyalty Pet Products and I need to cut back to be able to get underneath this. All right. This is an amazing set by the way and I'm telling you like they're unbelievable. There are straights, these chunkers, which I will not be having to use today, are unbelievable. And here's our curves. They're awesome. They're so comfortable, lightweight, very strong. And then the thinners. This is the Joshua Morales Maestro set. All right. From Loyalty Pet Products, you can use my code, which is Julie10, and you can save uh, $10 off of that. All right. We'll get back to it. And yeah, I need to uh, have my flipper looked at. It's a little loud. So if I find a, a sore or a wound, well, the first thing I'm going to do is take a picture. Second thing I'm going to do is call the owner. And if it's an open wound, I will immediately stop grooming. And Bailey's going directly to the vet. I have all of my clients sign a form upon their first visit and I explain to them again if, if a dematting is necessary, a full shave down is necessary, they understand um, the risks associated with not having the dog, you know, they didn't get the dog groomed, they missed an appointment, they let it get this far, so I'm trying to help him, but if, um, if there's a wound here, then I stop grooming and um, the full price of the groom will be doable, will be payable upon pickup, even if it's not finished. That's part of my policy. This is how I feed my children. And I can't just give anything away. I am really glad that I'm the one doing this. Because I love this little boy. He's really cute. You can see him on my Instagram feed. And the first time I got him, he wasn't this bad. I got to save most of his coat. Not this time. I know I already said that, but... I know you can't see on that side, so I'm going to try and let him give me up some of this. All the while, I'm being very careful and looking where I've just shaved to see if I'm starting to notice any signs of wounds that may be hiding under these mats, because the mats pull the skin in. They pull the skin in from all areas, and you can see that's how it's coming off him completely matted. All right, this is called pelt matting, for those of you that do not know. I'm not trying to show off here. I just need you to see. That's what he looked like on the outside, and that's what it looks like on the inside. I mean, if you can see the light through it, I can, but I can't get you guys to, you can see, yeah, there, you can see the individual mats, how they've all pulled together. That's why you have to be so careful. That's locked. That's another 10 blade. I don't know why the 
That's so loud. I have no interest in pulling this off as one huge mat to hold and show up for everybody to see. That's not, I don't think that that's proper grooming technique. This is not a show. This is a health issue. have to use a belly band or a hammock if he won't let me in. I got a hip, thank God. Very respectful, always be very respectful of the vulnerability of this animal giving itself up to you and trusting you not to hurt it. The first rule of groomers should also be do no harm instead of humanity before vanity. I mean, sometimes accidents happen, they always do, but I read something on a groomer's forum on Facebook the other day where an employee watched the uh, salon owner pin a dog down, slam him, lift him up by the scruff, and she watched it happen and didn't do anything about it and asked what she should do. Well, she called the owner and you report it. And then let the police get involved, because that's cruelty. His skin is like folded over. Oh my God. I really need a mask, but I really also want to teach. Good boy, Barry. Good boy, thank you. Skin is folded over on itself underneath the mats. I know, bud. All right, I got no choice. Constantly swapping my blades, I have to make sure this doesn't hurt him. It's not getting too hot.
gotta be really careful. You don't want to cut the edge of that ear. I know, bud. Stay. Stay, babe. Good boy. Yep, Bailey, I'm inhaling you and you're gonna stay inside my lungs forever. Gotta watch the ear leather. Use your hand as a guide so you can feel where it is. God, don't tell me I gotta go. I might even have to go surgical blade 40 on this. See that? That's what my Andis has been doing lately. I just changed the blade drive assembly too. I have a video on that. Baby, that's got to feel so much better. Huh, Bailey? Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm going to say, when Dad dropped him off, he knew he was matted. And I said, how bad it was. And he goes, well, that's how he gets. And I said, you guys didn't brush him? You can't brush this dog. I said, what? Yeah, you can. I taught you how to brush him. Yeah, well, okay. That's what he said. Yeah, well, you can't brush this dog. I said, no, I can't. I have to shave him. Give you a minute. I know. I know how I'm going to do this. Where's my masks? Where's your mask? The frig. Okay, well, wearing my Boston Red Sox mask, it's the only one I can find, even though it's got a little bit of fur on the inside. It's going to be better than breathing in that dander. Um, this was made by uh, Silly Grin Studios on Etsy. And I'm a Red Sox fan. So, they're comfortable, they're washable, very well made, super cute. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm gonna 
try and switch to my private one. I have to get under here, but this is loud. A ton, a ton of ten I know, bud. Good boy, baby. Good boy. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. He knows. Off. Almost done. Boy. I have never had to shave a dog like this. I've never had a dog this badly mad at Maybe once. Nick, move your arm. Move your leg, bud. He's giving up the belly, so I'm moving fast.
Watch out for the boy parts. Uh-oh, don't eat your hair. Trend. Are you eating your hair? Give me that. Give me that. <laughs> He's like, give me it back. I'll take it back any way I can get it. All right, so I'm going to use a belly band on him right now to get under him so I can get his back end. Keep him kind of ducking. All right, so um, I got this from, um, it's Grooming Safety by Jessica.com. It's a belly band. This one is the waterproof one. Awesome, dudes. It's very comfortable. I have the large one for bigger dogs and this one for the little guys. And if you don't have an overhead bar, I highly recommend you get one. Some people have two, some people have two separate arms here, but I like, this is from Master Equipment. I got it from Pet Edge. Love this. New blade. Now I have easy access. very sensitive areas, of which I am being very respectful. I'm watching his head, he's not happy, but I can tell you he's gonna feel a whole lot better. Really careful here. I do not want to cut this tail. See that pup who wants to sit, but he can't because of the belly band. But I don't want him to because I really need him to let me finish this as quickly as possible for his sake. Right, I'm going to move to my Bavura. I'm not sure which of these blades is going to work. They have been functioning poorly. I had them sharpened. It has nothing to do with that. Let's see what I can do here. So I set it on a 10 blade. Hopefully. Yes. Got a blade that's working for now. This is smaller, quieter. But I needed some power to be able to get through those bigger mats. 
you got to be careful when it's on this low setting because um, you can injure the skin when you're shaving this close with these guys, the five-in-ones. So again, watch how you're pulling the skin. Always looking to see if there's an open wound headed your way. And of course, I'm gonna time lapse some of this for you guys, but really just wanted to show this part of grooming. I do live in a, an area where my clients, I do one-on-one -on -one grooming, and most of my clients, you know, um, they come here for a reason because it's one-on-one -on -one cage free. It's just me. It's very quiet. Bailey's brother Willie is here. He does not need a shave um, down. I was able to get to him on his regular appointment last month, but this guy was in New York and then this happened. Um, God, what was I just saying? Um, oh, but, you know, I don't live in the inner city area where there's... You know, most dogs come in like this, and I've, I've seen you guys out there who do this on the daily, and I know I'm blessed. Almost done. Try and make a nice little round foot. Kind of hard. Not much left. The great thing about the five and ones is they don't heat up. Bad thing lately about the Durura is that almost every blade that I have has, in, has all of a sudden just kind of stopped working. Got them sharpened, um, bought new ones, they only seem to last for a certain amount of time despite cleaning, despite oiling taking care of them, proper maintenance. I don't know. I love the Rivera. I don't want, I have two. I don't want to go with anything else, but I certainly don't want to keep buying blades over and over. Going with the grain of the fur, not against. The way that it lays on the body.
other thing I like about the belly band is I can just kind of get under one side if I need to. Oh my god. Added penis. I know, but just a minute. Promise it's going to feel a lot better in a minute. Give him the belly band now because that was pretty comfortable for him. And I got that area done, tail is done. I wonder if I could give him some sort of schnauzer. What do you think? No, nope. he's matted, muzzle matted. All right, there goes the Brevera. I know, buddy, I got you. I got you. Good boy. Good boy. Give him a minute to get used to it being around his head. Make sure you're paying attention to that ear leather. So when the owner comes, what do you think some of the things I am going to talk to him about now that I've had to shave him? One, heat stroke. Because it's August, so I have to warn the client, and he's going to sign off that we had this consultation that now Bailey is at a higher re risk of heat stroke, that is at a higher risk of sunburn, that I'm gonna give him advice on what to look for for signs of heat stroke. I'm gonna recommend to keep him inside until he gets some coat back. I don't think he's really much of an outside dog. He's dirty, but doesn't look like he's been doing any hiking. I mean, I just can't believe he is fully matted inside the ear flaps.
just to see. I know you. All right, normally this is how I hold a dog's head. I know a lot of people go behind the jaw and hold the top of the nose. I'm gonna try that first. Let's see his, his entire muzzle is matted. He's not used to being shaved here. So I am just being very respectful, calm, slow. Your energy is also so important on any time you lay hands on an animal. All we are to them is scent and energy. So, boy. Stop licking. I don't want you to lick. I know it tickles. I know. I know. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. You can see the need to shave the muzzle. He's completely matted here. I'm sad. I gotta watch for that tongue. It comes snaking out. It tickles. Almost. Almost, buddy, I know. I know. Right. Give you face a break for a minute. Huh. Nope. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Let's be easy. Nope, you're not gonna eat your fur. not even hot. How's he looking? Besides bald. Aw, uh, that's Willie coming up to say hi. Willie is a Cocker Spaniel. Alright, let's get these legs done. ASAP. I'm going to give this guy a chance to rest before I give him a bath. I'm going to make sure I'm not noticing any uh, skin irritations. Before I put him in. I know. Almost done, my love. What? What is it? Come on, honey. Need a break? I know you do, but you're so little and I'm almost done. Okay? Here we go. Almost done. Boy, good boy, good boy. You can kiss me all you want. I know some of you might not know that that's a precursor to a um, possible bite when they lick their chops. But I'm looking at his other body language, and that's only really telling me what he wants is his brother to be off this table and I can't let him. Oh my God. All right, I gotta show you this, okay? See right here? Can you see that fold? This fur is stuck together. His fur is squoezed together by this mat, okay? That's why you have to be so careful when you're dematting. Because if I stick the revert in there the wrong way, Guess what's gonna happen? I'm gonna cut him. And I am not prepared to harm this animal. My job right here is to get him comfortable. You're a good boy, baby, yes.
I know. Just so you know my preferred on a ten blade. I know, babe. Almost. Almost. Almost done. Yes. Good boy. I know, honey. I know. Almost done. Okay? Almost done, Nanny. He's a good boy. No eating. Your own. Fur. I know. I know. Yeah. Think he's had enough guys? I think so too. I know, love. He's a good boy. Gotta get that one spot. I know, almost done. Last part, last thing. Good boy. Oh, Rivera, don't fail me now. I hope you're sorry. Boy. He has a sweetheart, huh? Looks like a naked mole rat. I know I could be moving a lot quicker, you guys. I know you guys are like, this is taking her an awful long time. But you have to remember that, like I said, this is, I've never seen a pelt mat like this. And I hope I never do again. But I got time. These are my last two clients of the day. And I feel pretty bad for this little boy right now. Very glad that he and I have a relationship already built on trust, that he trusts what I'm doing. I'm sure he's not going to like me here in a little bit once I lay him down. Not going to be happy about the bath after, but hope you can feel that I'm on his side. Okay, what are we going to do here? I'm going to do a quick zip down the nose, get the hair out of his mouth. One, good boy, stay. I just can't believe. How do you how do you dog get a dog this mad it on the mouth? All right. Let me see. How's my boy? How's my boy? Huh? Yeah. How's my boy? Boy, just like shaving a poodle, dudes. This guy's got to be really careful. Yep, he's got a little red spot here. A little irritation. him with a kind of schnauzer brow. See how that turns out? I may just take it all off. It's got stuff in it. All right. Bailey is 
shaved, dematted. I'm just, I don't know. I should just take that off. Holly, what do you think? Should I just, should I take that off? Or see if I can make a little brow of it? All right, let's see what I can do. Get the top of that nose real quick. See this? That's Holly. That's the best friend. She's mine. You can't have her. She's my bestie. All right. Okay. Julie Mooch from Bow Wow's Dog Services and Bailey. Okay. Who's feeling much better. And um, please hit the subscribe button. Any comments or questions that you have about this groom or anything in particular, I am always available to answer. Please uh, don't be afraid to share and don't be afraid to comment. And um, I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.